What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, welcome back to Class Comparisons. Today we're going to be taking a look at Abyssal Angel versus Blazebinder. We'll start by comparing these two classes for their mana consumption. A class has got to be able to keep its mana consumption at a, uh, at a steady rate so it, it, you know, it, it can actually use its abilities. So Abyssal Angel and Blazebinder, I'm, I'm going to say they're equal here. They are both absolutely fine when targeting two or three monsters, but when they target single monsters, they don't regain enough mana to sort of use their abilities at the same pace that they normally would. Both these classes regain mana by taking damage and dealing damage. So when you're fighting one monster, you're not dealing or taking as much damage as you normally would, so you're going to be sort of running into some mana problems, and uh, Blazebinder t sort of, I guess, suffers from this slightly, slightly worse than Abyssal Angel does, but both these classes are made to target three monsters. So, when fighting two and even three monsters, both these classes are fine when it comes to mana consumption, so I'm calling this category a draw. Now, for their, their uh, survivability, which of these two classes is better at staying alive? I'm giving the edge here to Abyssal Angel, and that's because Abyssal Angel not only has an HOT, but it also has various other effects that you can use and you can you can uh, you can enable, which allow you to take less damage. So it, sometimes it will increase your dodge chance, I believe, and it also decreases the amount of damage you take. Um, now the reason why I'm saying I believe here, like I'm like I'm talking talking about something I don't know about, is because both these classes actually don't really need to worry about the survi so their survivability at all. I haven't really taken an in-depth look at their survivability because I know with an AQW. Um, monsters don't tend to hit that hard, especially the ones you, you farm. When farming, there's really not a group of monsters that deal more than just insignificant amounts of damage. And uh, both these classes have excellent reliable heals, so I'm calling this category um, Abyssal Angels, but again, this category really doesn't hold much weight. I'm not really going to take into consideration their, their survivability because most monsters don't hit very hard. So. Um, the category that's going to sort of decide this class comparison is which of these classes deals more damage. So they're DPS. Now what I did was a, it's a little bit weird. Um, I went to Shadow Realm and I went to the room on the right. Now you might think, you know, you're not maxing out these classes. You know, you're not using its full potential. You're not targeting three monsters like both these classes were designed to do. Well, the thing is, if you do... If you fight two monsters on both these classes, then you're going to have the same disadvantages with both these classes as well. So you really are um, going to be uh, taking accurate re accurate measurements, I should say, um, in this situation anyway. But it's just the DPS numbers I'm going to give you are slightly lower than you normally would get with targeting three monsters. So what I did was I fought these two monsters over and over again. I did it ten times each for both classes, and I got the average time it took to kill those two monsters. Um, and then what I did was I got the total health pool, so both of their monsters' health pools combined, and I divided that number by the average time, and that got me the average DPS of both these classes. And uh, whichever one has a higher average DPS deals more damage and thus can kill monsters quicker and wins the class comparison. So, Abyssal Angel's average DPS was 1,241 second, uh, damage, rather, um, and their average time was 11 seconds. Blazebinder's average DPS was 1,517, and their average time was 9 seconds. Now, it doesn't really sound like much of a difference. 9 seconds on Blazebinder versus Abyssal Angel's 11 seconds. But, um, in practice, what you're going to do is you're going to try and farm the, the group of monsters over and over and over again. So what that leads to is, uh, you know, a really repetitive process that is also going to amplify these numbers up. Keep in mind that time is only the amount of time it took to kill two monsters. So you really, you're going to be killing perhaps two, three monsters hundreds, maybe thousands of times over and over again when you're farming something like Void High Lord or, you know, um, Legion Tokens or Enchanted Nogath Nation House, something like that, that requires a lot of farming. You're going to be doing something over and over and over and over again hundreds, thousands of times. So two seconds is going to really more look like more like 2,000 seconds, and 2,000 seconds is is, a, is about sort of half an hour. So you, if, if you're multiplying it by a thousand, you're sort of saving about half an hour, maybe a little bit more. So uh, it's it's still not much of a of a difference, but Blazebinder does win this category, and thus I I personally believe that Blazebinder is a better farming class. Just objectively, Blazebinder wins the right categories to to sort of win this class comparison. 
Now, uh, a lot of people are going to disagree because they think that Abyssal Angel, again, has better, better survivability. Now, th that's, again, it's important to stay alive when farming, but it's not as important as dealing damage because monsters in AKW don't hit hard. So, if you're looking at the pure numbers and you're looking at the stats, both these classes are very good, but Blazebinder wins out here. Now, uh, you can look at these numbers however you want, and you can you can crown your own winner. You can say, maybe maybe I prefer survivability. Maybe I prefer having better, you know, survivability in a class. And therefore, you might prefer Abyssal Angel. But if, if, uh, if I were you, I'd pick the class that has the best damage. You're going to be uh, better off using that class. And uh, that one in the situation is Blazebinder. Now, for my own personal opinion, in terms of just which class I find more fun to use, that's easily going to Abyssal Angel because Blazebinder is a boring piece of crap. I really don't like Blazebinder that much because it's it's really powerful and it's really boring. Um, you never have to sort of consider any any other options with your abilities. You sort of just spam your abilities. You sort of can just mash your fingers on the keyboard over and over again and you're going to kill the monsters fine. You're going to sometimes mash the right key to heal. You're going to sometimes mash the right key to, to put on a, a DOT. But really, mashing your keyboard is going to be absolutely fine with Blaze Binder. Whereas, Abyssal Angel, you sort of have to take a bit more bit more care with the abilities you use. Might be a bit frustrating for some people. You know, might, might be waiting a bit more with cooldowns. But my, my opinion, personally, is that that's better than mashing your fingers on the keyboard. That's my own personal opinion. You can you don't have to consider that at all. But uh, yeah, that's that's the winner of this class comparison. It's going to be Blaze Binder. Um, but I personally prefer Abyssal Angel. So do with that what you will. Those are the facts. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.